Namaste beautiful yogis. I have a quick video uh, for you today. I just wanted to share something quick with you that I uh, I was having a conversation yesterday on the subject and I've been actually uh, talking about it with Johnny, my partner. When how to deal with challenges. There's so many ways to approach anxiety and challenges in life. There is many tips uh, out there and techniques, but in general, when you have anxiety, uh, panic, and um, uh, when you're faced with challenges in life, when you have tools, it is proven that when uh, faced with challenges, if you have tools that you're given to deal with, the challenges you will not have anxiety or have less anxiety if you have the tools so there's many tools different things work for different people it's there's no one size fits all but I'm going to have to sit down because my legs will go numb I'm uh, sitting on my toes um, one way to deal with anxiety or with challenges in life is to not resist. I've done this video in different formats, variations, different variations of that many times. This is a different way to look at it. When presented with challenges, I've had a few challenging months myself and my lesson overwhelmingly has been the same through the years. Um, just maybe I word it differently. Uh, but the lesson has always been the same. When presented with challenges, do not resist let go or flow that's always the lesson that's why i love teaching flow yoga because it's a physical representation of a spiritual concept or a way to deal with the world and life in general and another way to uh, look at it is johnny my partner is a surfer so we he often speaks about surfing is to um go limp imagine a big wave comes down on you if you fight it it becomes worse and worse. You're gonna run out of breath. You're gonna get exhausted and tired. But if you go with it, it you let it take it take you wherever the uh, the force, natural force, is going. You still come up to the surface without fighting it. Just go with it. Go limp. Um, that's another one way to deal with challenges, and it kind of relieves you from anxiety because you finally stop fighting what's happening you allow it to happen and you grow through it you get the lessons sometimes life is trying to just redirect you to take you in a direction that you need to go in and you're fighting hard and the harder you fight the more challenging it becomes it sends your way more and more challenges because in order to take you in a direction to give you a blessing you have to let go you have to go in that direction and oftentimes our mind is working against our Fate, fate, or our the the best direction for us. Oftentimes, uh, we are being uh, we are our uh, own enemy. Our mind is our enemy. So when you let go of the cognitive process of the um, of the um, cerebral ideas, the mind ideas about where you should be, what you should be doing in life, how you should be approaching life. When you let go of that, and you um, allow higher guidance or allow higher guidance or uh, allow yourself to go in the direction of the heart um, you kind of let go and you flow with ease there it, it shouldn't be that big of a struggle if you're struggling too much maybe maybe you're fighting the best that is there out there for you something in, in along those lines that was the conversation um anyways i think i'm gonna keep this video short and sweet and that is it i if you want me to do more talk videos on the subjects of um just anxiety letting go no thinking for me the biggest uh, tool that i've always used is just to not think Unless I'm speaking to someone, then I'm thinking. I also have philosophical thoughts about ideas and things I'm learning and stuff. But I just tend to not think too much about myself or about like details about my, my life or the regular things I hear people think about what others think of me. Don't worry. No one. First of all, most people don't care about you. And second of all... Um, um, it doesn't matter really what anybody thinks about you, etc. So the regular mind chatter, just finding ways to let it go and not think. And it doesn't matter. Most things don't matter. So coming back to that realization, most things don't matter. So that allows you to have less mind chatter and sometimes letting go of resistance, going limp. Um, 
uh, letting go, flowing, etc. allows you to just allow the initial change of direction to happen and then things uh, maybe even work out better for you if you find a better direction. Uh, so uh, that is it. That is how to deal with, I don't know how I'll name this video, how to deal with uh, anxiety or how to deal with challenges, how to, when life is challenging, how to deal with it, something in, in that nature. So if you have questions uh, or if you want me to do more talks on such subjects, I have had a lot of experience with challenges in life. I mean, most of you probably don't know how challenging my life has been, but I have always had a lot of challenges and I have, in retrospect, I'm so grateful for all of them. They all have been a source of growth for me and deepening wisdom and so forth. And a lot of them were unnecessary. Had I had the wisdom to let go, I, it might have been easier all along. Anyways, love you all guys. I wish you mental health and joyous spring because spring is starting and I feel it in the air it's starting tomorrow I think Tuesday yes so whatever you're doing on the exact hour of springtime that will set the whole tone of the new year so do something inspiring come up with new ideas and start moving towards new, the new ideas I'll um, see you with a class namaste